Hello my friends! In this video I'll show you how easy it is to paint two jellyfishes. So let's begin! For the background I want to create a brighter area in the middle and I want to keep the edges darker and for this I'm going to use black for the edges and just blue in the middle. I want uh, my underwater scene to look like there is a ray of light that is brightening only the middle and uh, the edges are kind of uh, left in the darkness and uh, that's the, the effect that I'm going for. As you already noticed so far, I'm using uh, vertical strokes. Um, I'm doing this because I want to create the effect of depth in the water. I've waited a few minutes to let it dry completely and now I'm ready to sketch my composition. For this I'm using a uh, small brush and I am just positioning uh, my jellyfishes and I'm sketching where each one should be. Now this would be the first one and I'm filling it in with uh, white. I'm redefining the edges and I'm sketching the tentacles. Putting one here, one underneath. I am not applying a lot of pressure right now. I'm just using the tip of my brush and I'm just letting it slide, creating those curvy lines. For my second jellyfish, I'm putting the markers first and then I'll sketch it. It doesn't have to be a perfect round shape because the jellyfishes are not a perfect uh, semicircle. And I'm doing the same thing as the, um, the first one. I'm filling all in with white. And I am uh, positioning the tentacles the same way as I did with the first jellyfish. The secret word here is dynamics. So we have to place those lines in all the direction and all sort of curves. The more dynamic, the more different and the more expanded, the better it will look. So here, let your imagination be your best guide. For my first jellyfish, I will change this tentacle into an arm. So I'm going to add around it short strokes. They look almost like flower petals if you want to. And I will do the same thing on the other side, just like that. Even if I cover some of the lines that I did before, that is okay. And I'm continuing along this line with those little brush strokes and on the other side too.
On my second jellyfish, I will do something else. I will enhance this line with a zigzag. And I'll put another one right here and I'll do the same thing. I'm adding another layer of white because I like to have an opaque body. And I'm doing the same thing on the other jellyfish. And I am also adjusting the shape at the same time. My jellyfishes will have the same color, but in order to create um, a little separation in between the two, one will be brighter and the other one will be darker. So on the first one, I'm going to use more yellow and more white, and on the other one, I'm going to use more orange. Here I'm adding more orange on one side and I'm dragging it on the other side and then I'm blending everything with the yellow that I added before. And to finalize the body for the first jellyfish, I'm going to add a layer of white and I will blend it down with the colors that I already added. few accents of color to define the shape and at the end I will add a few dots in this area but I'm going to let it dry completely I'm going to work on other other areas and then I will come back to add the dots My second jellyfish is darker, as I already mentioned, so I'm going to add a generous amount of red, almost half of it is red, and then for the top I will add yellow and I will blend it into a nice orange uh, gradient. I am also shaping it out and I'm adding more yellow in this area and I'm bringing the yellow down and that will add a little texture and I'll work this area a little And uh, of course I am adding more accents to the first jellyfish that I thought it was uh, done but now I realize that uh, I need to enhance it a little bit and to cover some areas that I was not very happy with at the beginning so I think it looks better with a little accents And I'm also working on the contour here. For the first jellyfish arm, I'm going to add a layer of orange. For this, I'm using a dark, deep orange. And I'm just applying a little by little. I'm going from the middle all the way to the right side. And then I'm going to go from the middle towards the left.
For the highlights, I'm going to use the same color, but I mixed some white. So I have a brighter uh, orange right now. And from place to place, I'm adding highlights. I'm doing the same petal shape. And I will fill this arm uh, and I will extend it a little bit longer. For the other jellyfish's arm, I'm going to keep the same general movement of a zigzag. First it's yellow, the second it's orange. And I'm going to add several other layers with orange and yellow. Now the key here is because the color is not dry yet, uh, it will allow me to mix very easily the colors. So right now, as I'm applying a brighter color, you will see how the darker color that is underneath will blend very easily with what I'm adding right now. For the tentacles, I'm going to cover one by one with a layer of orange and I'm not applying a lot of pressure. That's the first one. And then I do this end here. And then I move on to the second. And of course the look it's not completed until we add some bubbles. I'm going to put two bigger bubbles here and then few dots. Small dots, bigger dots and a few more here, more dots here and two bubbles here with other dots. I'm adding my final highlights with just white. Um, I'm adding some random dots. And uh, also, I'm putting some few dots, maybe four or five dots on the jellyfishes to look more um, decorative.
These are my jellyfishes. I hope you enjoyed and see you next time with another fun project. Bye bye!